Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay of BTD5. Uh, let's continue with the Mastery Mode updated series. As always, I'm going to be running with uh, all the lab upgrades except for uh, starting lives. And uh, as it is for uh, special buildings, I'm going to just keep the engineer special building and use only this one for now. Um, because it's really good, you know. And therefore, let's jump into the gameplay. Um, the next track in order is going to be um, Express Shipping. Here we go. An impopable. So, um, yeah, you know, the strategy is going to be pretty much the same. Um, and uh, But in this particular case, the balloons are going to come over this top left angle uh, a lot of times before they're going to exit. So that is going to mean that um, the same tower, in this case the engineer, because I have the engineer special building, is going to be able to hold a lot more balloons than normal, you know, because the balloons are going to just keep coming to this top side uh, uh, portion of the map. And therefore, that means that I can get uh, more farms. Uh, I can get the farms quicker, you know. And uh, I can hold uh, the different uh, rounds with the same tower uh, without getting a lot of upgrades. So, um, in this particular case, this track is going to be pretty, pretty easy. Uh, I'm going to just place the farms uh, somewhere around here. Um, it doesn't really matter where because there is a lot of room in this track, so... So as you see, only for this track here, because of the fact that the truck is built in this way, I can get first the 1-0 upgrade for this farm, and then I'm gonna get the um, sentry guns upgrade, so the 1-0 upgrade. And yeah, here we go. I got it, so no big deal. Now with the sentry guns, uh, I'm gonna be okay until round like uh, 29, probably, maybe more. So uh, I'm gonna just focus here on getting all the farms, all the four farms. Um, as it is for farms, I'm gonna go with my strategy that is getting four farms total, getting each of the farms um, um, one zero. So getting four farms one zero, and then upgrading all of them um, two zero. Then getting a village. Um, and then get the two farms uh, with the third upgrade. And uh, and then selling everything when I wherever I can uh, to get the factory. So that's my strategy. And uh, I have done some math, uh, you know, about the amount of cash and all that stuff. And it's the best um, strategy there is without getting, you know... Um, um, without getting uh, injections or uh, or using premium stuff, so cool. Let's see. I may be able to get the last farm here before the run ends. Oh, I couldn't rip. Um, I can get here to zero farm. Um, this, the only thing that I'm going to be popping with the road spikes is going to be that, uh, camo balloon in round 24, because I don't want to place a tower just to pop uh, one camo balloon. So I can get 
all my cash spent here for the farms for the two zero upgrades okay i think i'm gonna be start getting i'm gonna place a farmer there so that i don't have i'm not gonna be needing to click and collect all this um cash myself you know okay that should be a good spot all right um okay so i think i'm gonna be getting here i'm gonna just uh, skip getting uh, uh this is a free ninja okay i'm gonna skip getting the glue gunner in this particular uh track uh, and I'm gonna straight away jump to get a ninja to one and I should be fine with that so I can get here village see covering all the four farms and I'm gonna wait until I can get here um, one three zero farm and I'm gonna start getting some uh, upgrades for the other towers okay here we go so yeah as you see uh, depending on the track you can uh, get the farms earlier or uh, you need to wait a bit it's just uh, a matter of how really the track works uh, here I think I think here um, Getting a, a village here is all right, or here. Oh, well, I'm gonna just get it here, I guess. Okay, here we go. Let's get this engineer here, uh, one, three. I'm gonna be placing the apprentice for the camo leads at the end of this round, round 37, a round that you need to remember for the camo leads. Now I'm gonna just sell it uh, because I don't really need it. And I'm gonna start getting here uh, A glue gunner. Boom. And I'm gonna get the 4 2 ninja here. Here we go. Getting the bomb too. For the four mobs, I'll get here uh, the village to one, the engineer to three, and now the glue gunner to two. Here we go. With this setup, I should survive until around 45. So I'm gonna, uh, after the end of this round here, I should have enough cash to get another farm three zero. So I'm gonna get it. So as it is for farms, I'm already set up. For uh, the... For the factory. And here we go. And this Brun Shipper is gonna be the one uh, from... Uh, that I'm gonna use to pop the BFP around 46 maybe uh just maybe here i will need some uh extra cash i don't know maybe in this truck i could just survive without getting it you know let's see with just the ninja and the bomb yeah definitely so i'm gonna just get it on the beginning of round 47 
the Blue Cheaper 4 2. And uh, right now, let's start uh, summing to get the factory. So I need 15.1 to get a 3 0 farm uh, to factory. And if I sell uh, this, other 3 0 farm is 6.6 cash. This is 3.2, so it's 9.8. Uh, and with this one is gonna be um, 13 K okay? so definitely enough here we go nice so first uh, farm of the game factory of the game And consider how this truck is built, I think I can get a bit more of other farms, so replace the farms that I sold. And afterwards getting uh, another, getting first the bomb, um, 4-2, and then getting uh, probably another Blue Cheaper. So here we got the bomb for two, stunning now uh, the balloons. I'm gonna get here another farm three zero. Actually, I'm gonna get two more farms three zero before getting here the next balloon shipper. Here we go. Yeah, just because of how this truck is built, uh, uh, the gameplay becomes a bit easier. All right. So I think next round I'm gonna be getting the another factory probably here I think also it's a good idea to get this glue gunner 3-2 uh, so that the glue can start popping a lot of more of these layers and therefore the balloons will not stack a lot with each other. I think uh, it's, a, it's a good uh, solution. Okay, let's get here two more farms to zero. So replacing the farms that I sold. Getting uh, again. The three zero farms. Probably I'm gonna get another factory, and then I'm gonna start getting uh, uh, some other towers. I'm just thinking about the ice towers in this particular case. All right, here we go. So let's not play with the fire. And let's place a very nice three twice tower here in the center that is gonna cover all this area, this top left corner where the balloons are gonna go around and around a lot of time. So and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start getting the ace for the for round sixty-three. I'm gonna get it uh, probably here. Here we go. The four zero ace, the spectre for the mob rushes. Even though I think in this particular track, if I build a two three ace tower, uh, the mob rushes will be will be destroyed 
Uh, but the fact is that I don't want a lot of lag, so that's why I'm just building the Spectre here. Because the Spectre is going to finish the blooms so fast that uh, they're not going to have the time to lag, you know? And therefore the gameplay is going to be a bit faster. So that's the main reason why I, I'm choosing going with the Spectre here. Not only for round 63, but for all the other rounds until I can afford to get uh, the temple. Okay, that's the last factory. Um, I could build more farms, more factories, you know, after these four, but I don't think it's worth it. Uh, with four factories already, you're getting a ton of cash. And uh, in this case, for example, um, I can place, I'm going to be able to get a temple for like round, uh, I think I'm going to be getting the super monkey here. That's going to be the temple. Yeah, here. So I was saying with just four factories, um, you can get a lot of cash and uh, you can even sell after you use these uh, factories and therefore you're getting not only cash because of the boxes but also you're getting cash from selling the farms so in total you're getting a ton of cash and therefore that's why uh, in this case getting a temple is going to be pretty easy and pretty fast just because of that you know and uh, you don't need uh, like a ton of factories to uh complete a track of course if you want to get like i don't know 10 temples uh you may need uh, a lot of factories but in this case i just need one to complete the gameplay so no big deal i'm gonna start selling these brun cheapers here that are making the game lag a bit but after I get the second uh, Sangat. Okay, here we go. All right. That's one and that's two. So uh, I need here to sell the engineer and to get another uh, glue gunner. I'm already getting the temple sacrifices, so uh, getting uh, the towers that I need to get for uh, to unlock every single passive of the temple. And uh, if you haven't checked out my video about the temples, just search it on the playlist, uh, the tutorials. I have done a complete video talking about the temples, the sacrifices, and how to build the strongest temples. So that should be it. I'm gonna get this two three tower pretty far from the beginning of the track uh, here uh, because I don't want any further lag. So uh, I'm just gonna leave it there. And I just need here the last two apprentices. And that should be it. 3, 2, and 2, 3. So I got Ice Towers, Bombs, uh, Village, and Super Monkey, Blue Gunners, and Apprentices. Yeah. I'm already done with uh, the towers that I need for the temples. So I'm just going to sell everything that I need. In this case, I have already enough cash to get the temple. Here we go. Uh, and I'm going to be selling the... I'm going to be selling the farms too very soon i just need here to get some a village and i'm gonna go with the snipers crippling the zomegats for zero for one and then two snipers outside For zero and uh, for one, here we go. I don't need this 
last two factories anymore for nothing because I'm not going to be placing or upgrading anything else. So that's it. Uh, those are set in strong. Strong, strong. Yeah. Only strong, the temple in last to get the maximum popping power. The temple has infinite popping power, the beam. So uh, setting it in last is going to mean that the beam is going to uh, get in the way of all the balloons. So uh, yeah, definitely a lot more of damage with that. And yeah, that's it. So as you see, uh, only with four uh, factories, uh, just by selling everything else that I don't need except the temple and uh, in this case I got the snipers, but they're just a plus, you know, you can perfectly complete a mastery mode track uh, with just one temple. Well, in some advanced tracks, uh, you're going to be needing uh, more than one temple, you know one temple and other towers for some very difficult tracks but most of the times just one temple is enough and uh, and yeah you know I just placed all the towers all the sacrifices in a good way and then I sold uh, the ace I sold the ninja I sold the engineer you know every tower that I don't need uh, to get sacrificed for the temple so I can get it cash from it and then uh, you know also the factories uh, sold there for the to get the snipers and yeah that's it so pretty standard uh, uh, gameplay going with the normal um, I'm getting the temple in this case not because if you don't get the temple uh you can't uh, survive uh, mastery mode in impopable it's not that it's because i want to do a quick gameplay uh you know the videos i don't want the videos to be very long so that's why i'm using the temples because the temples are very quick in destroying the zombie gods and uh the lag also uh you get only a bit of lag when uh, all the ceramics are exploding so when all the little balloons are exploding but other than that the gameplay is pretty smooth so that means of course uh, less time spent but in YouTube uh, with the last updates there is also the option to uh, get the play speed uh, you can increase it up to two times so uh, if you're tired or if you want to see this video faster so just to see what I do and how I build, just uh, go on, you know, and uh, accelerate the video. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So in this particular track, um, being uh, built in this way uh, means that I can afford to have less towers and to survive the same, the rounds, and therefore I could get uh, a lot of uh, factories a lot earlier than I normally do so uh, you know that's just more cash and that means that I can get the temple faster that's really the all the the end point of uh, getting the factories earlier but yeah So the last of my gods here in round 84, the hardest round of uh, mastery mode. And then the last five of my gods in round 85 and that's it. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, and are enjoying this mastery mode updated series with a good gameplay and good commentary. And see ya, bye bye.